learning GeoGuessr tips the other day, so I don't want to continue that. Even though it doesn't, I don't, I didn't like fully retain everything. Uh, oh, we have a bloodwood tree in five minutes too, so we'll go to the bloodwood tree and then, like you know, do uh, this GeoGuessr tip. So we went through Spain, Portugal, France, UK, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. Switzerland, I think Austria and Czechia, and Poland possibly. We we went through a lot, so I I kind of want to do like. Yeah, we'll go. Wait, why is there is there a different for Andorra in Monaco? It looks like there is. You can click on them, and Gibraltar. Gibraltar. And these Iceland and Faroe Islands. Okay. Yeah. What you been up to? Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Good morning. Good afternoon. All right, let's go to Gib Altar. Gibra Altar. Uh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Okay. Three and five minutes, yeah. I, I see that, I see that. We will go to it. Um, okay, so. I've never heard of this. Gibraltar. Grib, Gibraltar. Okay. We've been there. Ooh, okay. Um, it looks very rocky. It looks like an, like a... Maybe it's a small island, I assume. Um, okay, let's see. So the Google car has a white tip at the top. I mean, I don't really like these meta tips, but, you know, just to say it. I'm probably not going to remember them unless I, like, really know the area, you know. Um, okay, so all these blue lines look like uh, places that they've covered, right? So stay... Stay on um, highways and roads and stuff whenever you're um, guessing here. Uh, also, what is this song, bro? <laughs> what is playing right now? Okay, there's a big chunk of coverage missing in the northwestern part. Okay. Road lines, uh, yellow lot road lines on the side, white in the middle. So it uses a mix of yellow or white shoulders. The white center line, however, with the white center lines. However, the shoulders and the center lines can be dashed. There can also be no shoulders or center lines at all. Okay. Oh, yo, what is this? Why is it all curvy? That's new. Don't get confused if you see these zigzag lines. There are quite a few of them around Gibraltar. Okay. I don't know if I've ever seen any, like, wavy, or not, cur zigzag lines in other countries. So. Alright, I might have to find a different playlist. This playlist is not to my liking. Uh, let's see, let's... Um, let me go to YouTube and find a different playlist. Okay, let's... I'm gonna paste this YouTube link to the songs. Let's see. Hopefully this is better than that one. This one. Did it save? Did it save? Maybe, let's see. Okay, so the road signs. Red. Okay, one way, reduced. Europa, Europe, Europa, advanced road. 
Um, this is... This is, uh, Gibraltar. Yeah, yeah, we're learning about Europe. <laughs> uh, there's a Bloodwood tree in, in literally right now. If you... If, let's go, uh, do the... What's it called? Let's go do the wilderness event real quick. So let me show you exactly where Gibraltar is. It's right here, south of Spain. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, UK white, UK plates, yellow in the rear, white in the front. So it has, this is another place that has yellow and white. Okay, okay. Um, phone number plus 350. It, has, it says dot com, so there's no like URL, looks like. Country calling code is plus 350. Since o October 1st, 2008, telephone numbers for landlines and mobile phones in Gibraltar have been eight digits long. Okay. Vegetation is built around limestone cliffs and called Rock of Gib Gibraltar. Architecture, most houses have white facade, facade in combination with either a flat or pitched red-brown tiled roof. Okay. General look. Oh, wow. So it's a big, very, it's, it looks very big. Or like very big uh, island. Oh. Gibber Alter uses an English and Latin based script. Domain GI. Oh, it does have a URL, like GI. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's do this Bloodwood tree real quick. It's still British territory. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the top. Oh, yeah, I can click that button to go to the top. Okay, so we did that little area right there. Let's do Andorra. Yo, what's up, Prophecy? How you doing, bro? What you been up to? Um, we're just learning some GeoGuessr tips. Um, well, so basically, we're just learning. Uh, this is Andorra's flag. Doing great, bro? Nice, nice. Good to hear um, you have a couple minutes if you want, like, if you come right now to the Wilderness uh, Bloodwood Tree special event right now. If, uh, if you're logged on to RS right now. Get a solo Raksha and Teleskill. Hey, nice. Nice, nice. Uh, capital city, Andorra La Vella. Okay. Largest city by population, 19,383 in Andorra. Okay. Escalades in Gordani, 14,000. South Central. St. Julia de Loria, 7,600. In Camp, 7,500. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Oh, so it's like literally in the middle of Spain and Fran uh, France and Spain. Okay. I thought it was an island, to be honest. Okay. So now we know exactly where it is. It took you 542 solo. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of room to improve. Yeah, yeah, you got this. You got this. 
So now, like, it only gets easier after your first kill, so don't worry. Don't worry. Couple failures is the key to success. Um, probably like four minutes, and then once you get like the bow of the last guardian, or um, probably like three minutes, three thirty, and then like if you're really sweaty, lower than that, <laughs> probably. Aim for aim for sub four, or not sub four? Yeah, yeah, yeah like sub five, four thirty, four. You'll improve a lot. You'll find things. That you can uh, work better with. Make sure you use Vulm Bombs on phase one, three, and four. Or even one, two, three, four, yeah. yeah. I don't want to leech on this phase, so I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna pause on the GeoGuessr tip. So, also, on phase 4, like, whenever Rockfall happens, make sure you keep attacking him. Don't run away from him. And then also, like, at, on the second Rockfall, like, right at the end of the Rockfall is when you want to start bladed diving to the, to the pools. So you just gotta... Oh, also Limitless, yeah. Limitless is definitely a worth, worthwhile purchase. Mm hmm Most helpful in Endora. Yeah. Alright, we'll go back to that in a second. It's like Lichtenstein attacks Haven. Ooh, okay, okay. It's mainly a ski resort country with the tax with tax free. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Um uh, Okay, we're almost done and then I'm going to go back to smithing and do a little bit of studying. <laughs> okay, we're done. Sweet. Look, look. Yes, it is true. Uh, bleeds do not get affected by, um, like you can use them, but like don't use them too much. Like, I would say, like if you need to build to get to thresholds, sure, but uh, they don't get affected by death swiftness. So you want to try not to. You want to avoid using it. Uh, I got I got magic seeds or magic logs and coins, so nothing. <laughs> All right, so Andorra. Um, most helpful is this. Um, what is this called? Pol pole. Um, it's green and white. Okay, okay. Green and white. Okay. Um, and this is the area they covered all along the roads. So make sure we stay dirt toward the roads. Um, man, it's so hard. Okay, okay, but I I see these little poles, so I kind of know Andorra. <laughs> it's 
it's white on the front, uh, license plate, and... Wait, no, no, that's the other one, right? That's the other one. Did they show us license plates here? No, they didn't. Or maybe we haven't got to it yet. Okay. There seems to be an antenna on most coverage of Andorra. You can also see the shadow of the camera depending on how sunny the location is. Um, Andorra features some Skeeto coverage in its ski resort. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a ski coverage um, on GeoGuessr yet. But we've just been playing easy, right? So easy would just be like capitals. But okay. Uh, bollards. Um, very long sticks with tan colors and two yellow and a little red top. Okay. Oh, that's snow poles. That's what it's called. Okay. Sent you a treat on Discord. Okay, okay. Uh, two chilled runs. A, hey. you got twenty run, twenty kills or twenty, twenty uh elite clues. Damn. And that was chilled chilled run. That's good. That's good. That's good. Getting too common, not even trying. That's that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. You got um. Here, let me open it in browser so you guys see it. Oh, there it is. He's doing um elite clue runs and he's just cruising at seventeen clues an hour, sixteen clues, seventeen clues an hour. That's good. And he's not even trying. Zoom, zooming. That's good. That's good. We um, we will get back to clues soon. Do knowledge bomb stacks? No, they do not. They do not. Double XP is coming up, but they do not. Oh wait, is it today? Double XP. Does that start today? Oh really? Oh shit. <laughs> I did not, I did not know that. Oh man, I I totally forgot. I mean, we're still gonna do elite clues, but, but, um. Because we, we have time to finish double XP. We have a whole week, so we're fine. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot to change that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Streamlabs, um, yeah, yeah. I recently posted, started posting clips and YouTube videos on YouTube, right? So if you guys see anything, you can clip it. You know, any funny, any weird, this, that, whatever. Clip it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, follow me there on there. All right, let's see. And there, Andorra uses a couple different colored snow poles. Um, white. It also has a slant in it. Okay, is that yellow or red? That looks orange, actually. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. What color? It looks like yellow. Or orange. But. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, Streamlabs. I changed that one as well. Instead of like, it may in May, I, um, my mini goal is, I, I changed it to, I enjoy playing RS because, or like, I enjoy, you can, you can replace RS with whatever game and answer it. Um, okay, so Andorra uses a couple of different colored snow poles. Okay. Green and white ring bollards are the are in most places, so that's where we're going to know Andorra. Most main roads are covered, but there are large areas without roads and towns due to the mountains that make up the area. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah.
Uh, Andorra uses all white lines with some yellow, orange, or blue lines found in its cities. Uh, they either have red or white crossbox zebras or plain white ones. Okay. Andorra has limited highway system as well. Okay. 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 Road sign. You got an obliteration? Hey, grats, grats. It's like 20 mil. It's actually rare. I think that's a, a rarer drop than uh, the Dark Onyx Core, actually. From what I remember. It's actually good. It's not good for you, but it's... If you got it on your iron or something, like if you had one, <laughs> it would have been amazing. <laughs> it's a tier 87 weapon, I believe. But yeah. Alright, Andorra Road Sign. Um, okay, it has boxed in red, Andorra La Vela, and then arrows. Okay. Road signs aren't very common in Andorra due to most settlements being located along one road. Oh, okay, okay. Um, this, this is like a European style, I feel like, so I'm not going to be able to tell bit by, uh, this sign where, so it looks like ma mainly the green bollard, green and white bollard. Rock falls. Um, okay. Parada. So I assume it speaks French. They speak French here, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's 20 mil, right? That's, that's uh, what's it called? Three big pages. <laughs> they speak uh, Cat Catalan. Oh, okay. Catalan, okay. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to search that up in a bit. Or it's probably gonna be at the very bottom. Um, like the lettering and stuff, so we'll look at that in just a second. Uh, the back of the signs have a folded edge. The sign isn't flat. It has a clear and it's clear that it has a lip. Okay. Okay. Indoor has two main type of guardrails, red one and a classic guardrail. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Red. With yellow orangish reflectors on it. Okay, I see. Electricity poles. They look very similar to France, I believe. Or Belgium. I'm gonna have to double check, but holes are very square with what they with a with what appear to be five or so holes near the top. Okay, okay. So if it doesn't have holes at the bottom, but just at the top, Andorra maybe. Um. Oh, this is different. This one has holes all the way to the bottom. They have these larger poles outskirts of major towns and cities. Okay. License plate. Okay. Andorra uses a, quite a small license plate with the country of, coat of arms on the left side. Okay, so it's a small license plate. Hmm. So it's not going to be as big. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I assume... A little bit of, like, mixed, mixed Spanish, French. Okay, their, their end is AD for Andorra. Okay. Andorra numbers are only six-digit longs with landlines beginning seven, eight, or eight. Mobile with three, four, six. Oh, interesting. Okay, also, if you see six numbers only, could be Andorra, okay. Okay. Yo, that looks nice, but this could be anything. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Andorra is incre incredibly mountainous due to its location in the Pyrene Pyrenees. Uh, Andorra has a marine west coast climate, uh, like that of Auckland, New Zealand, and Vienna. At what is At? Um, and you can expect it to be to look similar to those locations in terms of vegetation. Austria, okay. <laughs> Uh, but keep in mind that the Andorra's altitude can make it appear colder and more desolate for the top of the mountains, especially outside of the canyon. Yeah. They also have topography. Interesting. <laughs> so the highest is 3,250 meters. Okay. Architecture, okay. Okay, architecture looks cool, cool. Arch Andorian architecture is very unique with a strange with a strange blend of modern and old looking buildings usually made of stone and brick and often several stories high okay general look oh okay so it's like there's like they built like cities in middle of mountains that's good that's cool green and white pollard or bollard okay here it is yep Andorra speaks Catalan, based in a Latin script. Okay. Uh, oh, a little has a little accent on the underneath the C. Okay. Uh, C. Okay. Hack. Gota que. Ela. Emma. Ena. Okay. Okay. Axia, Doble. Oh, and there's like even regions. In, oh, yeah, yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven regions, seven parishes. Okay. AD is for Andorra. Okay. Very. Oh, yeah, I can just click this button. All right, so we did Gibraltar, Andorra. Let's do Jersey. And I don't think I did. I what did I do? Isle of Man. I might have. I want to. I want to do all these like little countries that uh. Oh, let's go this way first. Monaco. To Monaco. Monaco country flag is red. I assume that it's it's white at the bottom as well, but it's just hard to tell between like from this page. Um, okay. Monaco Mono Monocan Bollards. Are white with two red rings. Okay. They have Gen 1 and 2 cameras. Uses white line. Monaco uses white line. Also, due to having F1 track around the city, you can find these red and white curbs. Oh, interesting. Okay. Has an F1 track. Road signs. Um, nice. I assume that's a country or like city or something. Genesis, Menton, Ice, Muse. Okay. So these are the road signs. It's like a steel 
rod and then like it's a a rectangle of a uh... okay okay interesting it's a french city uh, okay okay uh monaco has short white plates with blue text um oh it also has short plates only four numbers it looks like okay however due to its location you can see a lot of italian french plates okay Doesn't have, uh, or at least this, this uh, geo tip doesn't have uh, stuff filled for those. Okay, due to to being a city state, Monaco is entirely built up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Monaco uses French as its official language. Okay, and MC dot MC is Monaco. Okay. Okay. So that was Monaco, uh, Andorra, Gibraltar. Um, I guess we could do San Marino. Oh, I logged out. One second, let me log back in. And make sure I turn on my Gusher Vic. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, Italy. Is Luxembourg an option? Uh, where's Luxembourg? On... It's beside Belgium. Uh, yes, there it is. Oh, I didn't even see it. All right, let's do Luxembourg. Let's do Luxembourg, and then we'll do Italy. Why is it not letting me scroll down? Load game. Okay. Okay. Red, white, and blue. Oh, it's a very... I think I did read something about... Um, the blue is lighter shade than the a uh, different country. I forgot what country. But okay. Now uh, Luxem Luxembourg uses a fairly generic black and white bollard with a white rectangle inside the black one, containing two white dots. I assume the white dots are in the back. This is very similar to a different country, and I need to go back to remember. <laughs> But I assume it's like Belgium. Yeah, yeah, probably Belgium. Yeah. Luxembourg uses all white lines. Okay. Tends, Luxembourg tends to use yellow and white signage, often with a frame surrounding the sign. Okay, and then it looks like a black uh, outline as well. Oh, wait, at least only for that, for that white one. Okay. I mean, no, even here, it has a little black outline on the yellow. But this one, it just has a white outline on the red. Mm. They use white poles for their speed signs, etc. Um, and then this is... This sign is the uh, right-of-way, right? But this one... I don't know what this top one mean, really. Uh, Luxembourg uses a metal pole with wires hanging from them. Uh, they also have wooden ones. Okay. So that's kind of... I don't think I've seen this before. It has like little... I don't know what this is called, but... Um, that's hard to tell what this is. I mean, it looks like a hole, but... Alright. Luxembourg uses a standard E 
EU style, but yellow in color. Ooh, okay. Luxembourg phone numbers are big. Numbers begin with six. Okay. Mobile numbers. Can be quite hilly and a lot of open grass. No passing? Oh, that's probably what it means, huh? Yeah, yeah. Could be. I assume. Yeah, it's probably because it's one lane and you don't want to be like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Specific tree. Okay, general look. Okay. Often you'll find road lines with trees within with trees within Luxembourg. Okay. <laughs> like speed limit. <laughs> Those passing signs are just a suggestion anyways. Just like speed limit. Okay, Luxembourg has three national languages consisting of Luxembourgish, uh, French, and German. Okay. Domain is .lu. Luxembourg, okay. Uh... So it looks like it's a mix between French and German-ish. Just from looking at it. Nah, not really. I mean, you kind of. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Um, so, we've done that. Honestly, if you didn't say anything, I I didn't even know that there was a little between there. <laughs> There's a little I might have missed it. All right, um, San Marino. Did we do San Marino? No, we haven't. Okay, San Marino. Flag looks cool. Flag looks cool. San Marino bollards are white with black caps containing either white or red square. Okay, it's like a slanted black cap. Okay. Uh, Gen 3 camera is only found on roads which border Italy and cross between the two nations. Okay. San Marino road lines are all white. San Marinian's sign features a white outline with black with black backing. Um, oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. San Marino, um, Centro Rico. Um, hazards can be found in yellow. Similar to their turn arrows, yellow, red. Okay, so turn arrows and hazard, yellow, red. And like blue for like um, cities, I guess. Okay. San Marino has a mix of concrete, metal, and wood poles. Uh, okay. It also features these large substations. Ooh, okay. I think only one country that we've um, looked at had a substation. Um, I forgot what it was, but it was also a different color too. It was like made of bricks. And it doesn't look like it was this tall either. Uh, okay. In Europe. San Marino. Plates are white, black. With blue text. Uh, 
Okay. Phone number. Okay. Mountainous nation with borders of Italy. Okay. General look. Okay, I guess. There's a lot of uh, bollards on the roads. Okay. San Marino is Italian. Okay. Um, A, B, C, D, F, A, D, A, K, M, A, N, A, O, P, Q, R, S, A, okay. All right, domain is S, M for San Marino, okay. All right, let's see Italy. Italy. Rome. Italy uses a white car. If it's Gen 2 covers, you won't be able to see it. If Gen 4 covers, then the car will be blue. Uh, Gen 3 won't have a car. Okay, well, it's okay. I don't really like the metas, but yeah. All it's red and black. Okay. At the top. Um. Oh, the back just is plain. The front of the baller is the left, the back is the right. Oh, okay, okay. So it's red on the front and uh, white at the back. Could be red or b uh, just completely black. These ballers are exclusively to the island of Sar Sardegena. Uh, they have an orange space clearly visible. That does not mean you can find other ballers here as well, however. Uh, So if you find a baller, you gotta look for more. Okay, road lines. Um, it has something on on the board, on the middle line. You tend to find white lines throughout the country, yet yellow lines are a bit rare. They seem to be located toward the south of the country, opposite of what you'd expect. Okay. Italy uses the word via on most of their sign. Um, okay. You can clearly see them on every building at a crossroad. So that's a clear indication. Okay. Highway signs. SS roads are unique to Italy, while E roads are European roads and are shared between countries. Okay. So if you see SS, Italy, E is European, okay. They have blue on both sides. Of So the blur, you can see two bars on the blur. Okay. One on the left and one on the right. This This is only seen in Italy and Albania. Oh, okay, okay. So if you see two blue... For license plate, Albania or Italy. Okay. Um, phone number start. I guess it starts with a zero. Um, dot it is Italy. Um. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. No, no, no. The phone number, whatever it starts with, is the is the uh region. I guess. Okay. Italy has a pretty structured area code layout. While they do extend to three digits, general area numbers are better learn, a better bet to learn. Most phone numbers in Italy will be presented at zero x, up to eleven digits. Okay. Okay, so the top is one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes down to seven. For some reason, six is this very little corner. Okay, five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh wait, seven is also over here. Okay. So six is very small, so in Rome is six zero six. Okay. Well this is not all of Italy. You you get this dry feel towards the south. This is generally feel for all 
of the Mediterranean. So this isn't just for the Italy, okay. Dry field toward the south, okay. Architecture. Uh, these roofs are very common in most Mediterranean areas. It's a good general location when you see these. Uh, okay. Italy, as Italy is near the Mediterranean Sea, you'll find landscapes that look similar to this. It's taken from Sicily. Okay, okay. This is from the island of Sar Sardegna. Um, okay, however, this isn't the only type of shot you will see. The, nor the north of the country is very different. The valleys and mountains create a totally different feel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is, this looks completely different, to be honest. Okay. This is north, okay. Italy uses Italian, however, there are some chances you'll see other language. Uh, near the borders like Swiss, Austrian, French, Slovenian, and Croatian. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Alright, so we went Gibraltar, Andorra, Luxembourg, Monaco, San Marino, and Italy. Um, oh, Malta. Let's do Malta. Malta is left-hand drive. Um, I did Albania, I think, already. Um, yeah, but we can look through Albania again. I haven't... I kind of forgot uh, a little bit. But, yeah, yeah, Malta. Let's do this, like, little tiny, you know, south of Italy. Malta is also left-hand drive, just like UK and Jersey and Isle of Man and Ireland. Um, Google car in Malta is white, um, but you will not get any, any glimpse of it, okay. So it's not really a Euro tip, <laughs> why are they adding it? Um, okay, bollard. Bollards in Malta are incredibly rare, so that isn't really worth learning them, as chances of you finding are very slim. It is possible that these bollards are shown Above are private ballers, which mean they wouldn't be consistent. Okay. Uh, Malta uses white lines. Including double white line to separate the lanes. Okay. The only use of yellow appears to be for bus stops and handicapped parking in major towns and cities. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Road signs. Stop. Stop signs appear to have a larger stop than most countries. Okay, so it's kind of appearance <laughs> if you see this, if the stops looks bigger than normal. It's like, huh. This could be Malta. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's gonna be hard to tell, you know. But okay. Their stop signs appear to have a larger stop. Oh, yeah, yeah I just read that. Um, uneven roads sign. Most of their warning signs have a white rim on the edge. This is also common in Italy. Okay. Um, electricity poles. Um, okay. There's also a double light pole variant, uh, of this one shown below. Oh, okay, okay. Alright.
There are a few variants here, but most of them are painted this weird tan color. They almost blend in with tan walls, buildings that are everywhere, which is what I would think would be the reason behind their color choice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see it, I see it. Um, this picture makes blue stripe look pretty light, but it's the same blue as the rest of the Europe. Okay. Oh, okay, it's, does it, it's not, that's not the right color. Okay, okay. Malta can also have these short, thick license plates, but they're not the only place in EU that can, um, that can, so it may not be the best clue. Okay. Okay, so it could be a little small. Um, dot .mt for Malta, okay. They also drive on the left side of the road. Uh, Malta has a code of 356. You'll see this in some places. All of their numbers since 2002 have eight digits, with the first two digits representing a locality. All numbers will look like X, 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 X. Okay. Um, Melita fixed lines have a prefix of 27. Okay. okay. All right. Any numbers that begins with 77, 79, or 99 are mobile numbers. And will not give any good information. Okay. Well. Huh. The landscape feels m much like Greece and Italy with rock poking through the grass that exists. It feels dry, and you can often find a grouping of cacti along the side of the road. Oh, interesting. Okay. While these are not everywhere, most rural roads have a stone wall. They might not all be this tall, but the layout is generally similar. It's often a good indication you may be in Malta. Okay. Stone walls on rural roads. Interesting. General look. This looks like a place that we've uh, played Ulysses. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was Malta that we that we got. Um, Malta is south of Sicily, so it feels Mediterranean, and this, and that may cause some people to be confused. Okay, yep. English language and Maltese. You can finally, you can generally find both rather easily, but English is what really gives it away. Okay, okay. Dot MT. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I don't think we got Malta, but it looks... It, we probably got somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea, so it was very similar. Alright, cool. So, I guess we could stop there for now. We did Gilbert Alter, Andorra, um, Luxembourg. Yeah, Gilbert Alter, Andorra, Luxembourg. Um, Monaco, Italy, San Marino, and Malta. So, seven places. Right, let's do one more. Let's do Croatia too. Let's do Croatia too. I I'm trying to go like every every country or like, you know, place from the from the left to the right, you know? So like slowly going that way to the left to the right. All right, Croatia, country flag, okay? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, I need to log into my bank. One second. Uh, Merchant 85. Oh, it has harmonic dust. Oh, yo. All right, all right. Perfect, perfect. Let me, let me hop worlds. Um, you remembered that I needed <laughs> harmonic dust. <laughs> thanks, thanks. 
All right, let me log into the bank real quick. MVP. Yo, game load. Okay, okay. Let me log into the bank real quick. Uh...